Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we'll solve a very important chapter from geometry that is exercise 14a, number 8. Amra shudu 14a number 8 problem to solve kurbo. Because ita amadir examiner jonno jamon important, amadir janar jonno ita khub dorkar. Ta shuru kori 8a first question. That is, ekhane tumi jodi ikto khyal kore dekho ekta figure draw kora ase. Okay, the first one, the figure. E figure ta modhe ami dekhte pachi z 80 degrees z. E value gulo dawa ache. Acha amra ki bolte pari this three angle will make 180 degree. Yes, amra eta bolte pari. Tahole jodi ei tin ta mile jodi ekta straight angle create kore, tahole ami bolte pari z plus z plus 80 degree will make 180 degree. 180 degree ke amra boli straight angle. ताहले ए तीन टी एडजेसेंट एंगल मिले एक टी स्ट्रेट एंगल बा 180 डिग्री फ्रेट करे। देन फ्रॉम दिस लाइन वी कैन से जेड प्लस जेड डेट इस टू जेड। इफ वी मूव प्लस 80 ऑन अनदर साइड ताहले हमने पाची 180 डिग्री माइनस 80 डिग्री। एक बार हम देखते सॉल्व करता है। सो इक्वेशन सॉल्व कर शुमे हम Z should be 100 degree divided by 2. What is 100 by 2? That will be 50. Then we can say the value of Z is 50 degree. And that is the solution of 8A. Then we 8 beta solve for 8 beta similar way. We can 65, Y and 73. These three angle will make a straight angle that means 180. So we can write in this way 65 degree plus y degree plus 73 degree will make 180 degree or straight angle. Y plus 5 plus 3 8 plus 6 plus 7 13 138 degree equal to 180 degree. Ekonomda 138 Okay, then what will we have? 180 degree minus 138. So from this line to this line, we can write y equal to 180 minus 138. Then what is the final solution of y? After subtracting 138 from 180, we will get 2. 1 will be there, 4. So it should be 42 degree. Okay, so the value of y should be 42. In this way, we can easily solve 8a and 8b. Now, 8c. If we look at this, we know that this four angle will make a complete rotation. What does a complete rotation mean? Complete rotation is called 360 degree. Complete rotation. Complete rotation is 360 degree. Okay. So now we have to use this formula. So from 8C, we can write this thing 8C. We can say A plus 67 degree plus 52 degree plus 135 degree will make 360 degree. Okay, 135 degree will make 360 degree. Mm. Then we can write A plus, if we add all of these three values, what will we have? 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 5, 14, we have 1. So 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 6, 15, we have 1. So 2, 5, 4 degree equal to 360 degree. Now A should be 360 degree minus 254 degree. Then what will be the final solution of A? A should be uh, we, we need to subtract right now. So uh, 10 minus 4, that will be 6. So we have 1, so 0. So 106 degree will be the final solution of 8C. Now, 8D. 8D, in a similar way, we can say this three angle will make 360 degree or a complete rotation. Then we can write 5X plus 4X plus 36. This three angle will make 360 degree. Why? Because this three angle will make a complete rotation. That is called complete rotation. Okay. So if this three angle will make a complete rotation, then sum of these three angles should be 360 degree. Now, if we add them, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12. So 12 x equal to 360 degree. Then we can say x should be 
360 degree divided by 12. Therefore, x should be 30 degree. And that is the answer of 8D. Now, 8E. 8D is very simple. If we look at this, this angle is called square angle, square shape angle that is 90 degree. Always this angle should be 90. Then we can say this triangle will make a straight angle, okay? That means 8E, we can write 90 degree plus 55 degree plus P will make 180 degree. Then what is 90 plus 55? 5, 9 plus 5, 14. So 145 degree plus P should be 180 degree. Then the value of P should be 180 degree minus 145 degree. What is the solution of P? P should be 5. We have 1. And so 5, that should be 35 degree. Okay. So the solution of 8E, that means the value of P should be 35 degree. Now we need to find out the value of Q. Can I say these two angle will make 180? Yes. Of course, we can say that means P plus Q is equal to 180 degree. That means P and Q both are supplementary angle. Okay, one is supplementary to another one. So uh, what is the value of Q? Q should be 180 degree minus P. That means 180 degree minus 35 degree. If we subtract 35 from 180, what will we get? We get 5. So it should be 145 degree. And that is the answer of 8. Now, 8F. If we look at 8F, that is also a very simple one. Look, at 8F, 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 these angles, that means this angle and this angle, they are treating vertically opposite angle. I think you have already know this one. If you haven't the idea of vertically opposite angle, then you can see this one. Suppose if this one is 30 degree, then it must be 30 degree. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angle. Then if we say this one is 150 degree, it must be 150 degree. Why? Vertically opposite angle. So in 8 F, we can say K plus 30 degree plus 40 degree, okay, equal to 117 degree. Why? Because this will make vertically opposite angles, okay? K plus 70 degree should be 117 degree. Then the value of K should be 117 degree minus 70 degree. Therefore, therefore K should be 117 minus 70, that is 7, um, then the 7, 4, 47 degree. Then answer of 8F, that means the value of K should be 47 degree. And that is the solution of this space, space number two. Now, number 8G, 8G is also very easy. How can you solve it? Look, uh, at first we can use vertical opposite angles idea. How can you use? Look, J and 62 plus 49. That means this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angle. That means we can write J degree equal to 62 degree plus 49 degree. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. So what is the value of J? J should be the addition of these two value. 9 plus 2, 11. We have to carry 1 to 4. That is 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 6, 11. 1, 1, 1 degree. Now, we need to find out X and Y. Look, how can you solve it? Can I say Z and Y, these two angles will make 180? Yes, of course you can say. So, Y should be 180 degree minus Z. So how can you solve 180 degree minus the value of Z is 111 degree. After separating 111 from 180, we will get 69 degree. And that is the solution of Y. Okay. At last, we need to find out the value of X. How? Trisex and Y. This one and this one are vertically opposite. Now, we can easily say trisex and Y these two angles are vertically opposite angle. So we can write 36 degree equal to Y degree. What is the value of Y? Y should be 69 degree. Then we need to find out the value of X. X should be 69 degree divided by 3. Then the final answer should be 23 degree. Okay. So this is the solution of 8T. Now 8H. 
How can you solve h? This is very simple. At first, we can say 7x and 36. These two will make a straight angle. So 7x degree plus 36 degree will make 180 degree. That is 10x degree is equal to 180 degree. Then x should be 180 degree divided by 10. If we divide 180 by 10, our final answer should be 18 degree. Okay. We can easily find out the value of x. Now, how can we find out y? Can I say y and 7x are vertical opposite angle? Yes, we can use this idea. So y equals to 7x. Okay. Now, now we know the value of x that is now we know the value of x that is 18 degree. So 7 multiplied by 18 should be. That means 7 multiplied by 18 should be the final answer. 7 into 56, we have 5. 7 into 7 plus 5, 12, 126 degree. And that is the solution of x and y. So in this way, we can easily solve these problems. I hope you understand this chapter properly. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Tiyam